Assalamu alaikum dear doctors in this video I am discussing about recurrent episode of loss of consciousness syncope. So the case is loss of consciousness that a 5 years old boy referred to you to see in OPD with episodes of loss of consciousness he has developed these episodes over preceding 4 months and has been seen in the local emergency department after 1 episodes of loss of consciousness. 12 bleed ECG blood pressure full blood clown RBS urea electrolyte at this time were normal. He was NVD term developmentally normal, elder sister having febrile seizure at 3 years of age. He has recently moved to new school and his parents feel he has settled in well. I wonder if he may have seizure disorder or cardiac arrhythmia. Now what are the differential diagnosis of loss of consciousness usually benign? So loss of consciousness um, when history come, the DD come in your mind, usually that is a benign condition. The neurological causes of loss of consciousness is seizure disorder, brain tumor, cerebrovascular accident and reflex anoxic seizure. Cardiovascular causes of loss of consciousness. These are supraventricular tachycardia, ventricular tachycardia, long QT syndrome. That is long QT syndrome primary is Romano Ward and Jarvel and Leach Nelson syndrome associated with deafness. But secondary cause of uh, loss of consciousness is myocarditis, electrolytes and medications. Old Parkinson White syndrome, atriventricular conduction defect that is heart block, cardiomyopathy, shock including anaphylaxis, left ventricular outflow obstruction, aortic stenosis, congenital heart disease, stop and pulmonary hypertension. Number 3 others. Others are including vasovagal episodes that is neurocardiogenic, common and benign. Behavioral are hysteria, diagnosis of exclusion, no prodromal symptoms. Hyperventilation that is preceding psychologic distress, sensation of shortness of breath, chest pain and numbness and tingling of the extremity. Postural hypertension, hypovolemia. Respiratory is decreased venous return. Uh, breath holding attacks that is younger than 6 years. So younger than 6 years old uh, if loss of consciousness we can choose breath holding attack. Metabolic is hypoglycemia cause, drug induces inhaled nitrites, antihypertensive agents and diuretics, tricyclic antidepressants. What are the red flag feature in syncope? So when we take the history of syncope, the red flag in your mind, that is after exercise. Pain, palpitation, history of heart disease, in recumbent position, seizure disorder, family history of unexplained death, hypertrophic obstetric cardiomyopathy, long QT syndrome. So this is the list of red flag we need to exclude. What to ask in syncope loss of consciousness? Introduction, what is your concern? Loss of consciousness. Now, history presenting illness analysis of the episodes. These are when first one happened, for how long, how often occur, recurrent or vasovagal. During events, prescribe for me the events. Do you have any video record for this attack? Uh, is there, there is any unruling of eye weakness, tongue biting or incontinency for fits? What were you when it started? Where are you when it started? Duration of the event, few seconds, that is vasovagal. Where happened, at home or KG? What was the first thing you noticed? Any changes in his color, pallor or cyanosis? After event, what happened next? How recover from the attack? Any relieving or aggravating factors? Before the events, we ask like, what was he doing before th uh, this? Any exercise, that is cardiac indicating recumbent, that is seizure. What symptoms before the events? Any dizziness, pallor, nausea, hyperventilation, tinnitus, lightheaded, that is vasovagal. Do you notice this attack precipitated or precipitated by unpleasant sense like anger, pain, cry, fear, reflex anoxic and breath holding attack? It excludes. So if reflex anoxic or breath holding attack, uh, there is can be any anger, pain, cry, fear is the aggravating factor. Now associated symptoms, CVS and respiratory system. So we ask associated chest pain, palpitations that is include cardiac, difficult of breathing, any cough, any change in his color of the lips. That is means cyanosis. Associated with any standing after prolonged bed rest, that is a postural hypertension. Now, CNS associated with any abnormal movement, we ask any concern regarding vision, hearing or speech. Associated with headache, that is tumor, we exclude. We know that morning vomiting, headache, that is the clinical features of tumor. Now, generally, we ask then associated with prolonged fasting, that is vasovagal, any recent weight loss, fever or night sweat, that is space occupying lesions. Systemic review from GIT, we can ask, is having loss of appetite, is this attack related to the meals or any regurgitation or vomiting, any vomiting of blood, is his stool contain blood or become black, chronic blood loss, that is anemia, we exclude, urinary urine color, frequency and amount, musculoskeletal system, we ask, any skin discoloration or skin rash, is having any joint pain or swelling. Now, past history from the loss of consciousness, we ask history of any similar condition, past history of other medical problems, history of any trauma, hospital admissions and why surgical operations. Drug history we ask like any ingestion of the medications, any member of the family using antihypertensive or tricyclic antidepressants. 
Perinatal history will ask any concern during pregnancy or during delivery, mode of delivery or after delivery. Is having any problem in the neonatal period, need any admissions in an ICU. Immunization history will ask any concern regarding his vaccinations. Like is he received his vaccination update, any extra vaccine he has taken or not will ask. Developmental history will ask any concern regarding his development. Is he developed like his peers? Gross motor, is he walk, jump, run, fine motor, can he hold the pen, can draw? Social, we ask dress, undress himself, speech, how many words he know. Nutritional and growth, we ask any concern regarding his growth. How many meal per day, how his weight and length. Any growth chart in which centile he is. Now, family history will ask any family history of significant Family history of any sudden death, sudden infant death syndrome, congenital heart disease, deafness, seizure, and metabolic disease. Consanguinity of the father and mother, that is metabolic condition exclude. Number of the family members, any problems regarding their health. Social history will ask, what is the effect of the disease on the family? Is both parents working, income satisfy, who take care of the child, who support the family, having health insurance. Effect on schooling, absence, performance, his relation with the peers and siblings, any changes in his behavior or personality, any new event in his life, moving to new house or kindergarten, birth of new sibling or loss of the relative. Now discussion of the loss of consciousness or uh, syncope. First question, what is vasovagal syncope? So vasovagal syncope, it is the temporary loss of consciousness and tone that occurs as a result of inadequate cerebral perfusion. Vasovagal syncope occurs in response to a trigger with a corresponding malfunction in the parts of the nervous system that regulate heart rate and blood pressure. When heart rate is slow, blood pressure drops and the resulting lack of blood to the brain cause fainting and confusion. How to differentiate between the seizure and syncope in vasovagal attack? So that is postictal phase, rigid posture, no incontinency, pre-syncopal symptoms, sense that is about to pass out without loss of consciousness, pallor, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, sweating. Loss of consciousness is less than one minute. What are the predisposing factors of syncope vasovagal attack? So the predisposing factors of syncope are warm environment, crowded space, anxiety or sudden surprise, fight, blood drawing or sight of blood, prolonged and motionless standing or upright sitting, lack of sleep, dehydration, hunger, any painful or unpleasant stimuli, such trauma. Clear menstrual cramps. Now, what is your management plan for syncope or loss of consciousness? Number one, admission, full examinations. Investigation do. These are CBC, blood glucose, calcium and magnesium level, urea and electrolyte, liver function test, checking the blood pressure in supine and after standing for 5 to 10 minutes, uh, then a postural hypotension to rule out. We do that. A tilt tablet, uh, table test, test to trigger syncope and follow patient. To rule out the cardiac causes, we do the 12 blood ECG and exercise testing. Abnormal PR, QRS, QT. And ventricular enlargement we will notice. Echo we do 24 hour ECG recording, holter monitoring. To rule out the seizure disorder, we do the EEG, CT, and MRI. Event diary and video recording we will also see. Now, management is multidisciplinary team we involve. We need more inputs from pediatrician, neurologist, cardiologist, psychiatrist, maybe behavioral pseudo seizures. Number one, non pharmacological. What are the non pharmacological management? These are reassure the parents. Event diary, avoid the triggers, corner stone. They should lie down and raise their legs to increase the blood flow to the brain. Wearing graded compression stocking may be helpful. Pharmacological certain medications may also be helpful. Beta blocker number A, beta adrenergic antagonist. Number B, CNS stimulates uh, fludrocortisone SSRI. Number three, permanent pacemaker may be beneficial or uh, even curative. So this is all about syncope or loss of consciousness, everything. Please do subscribe and share. MRCPCH with Dr. Emma Chaudhuri. Thank you.